So we have eight laboratories just within the physical com- section of the cancer center wow. that are all doing, I don't like to use the term basic science because that makes the <laughs> physicists and the chemists really pissed, but doing laboratory <laughs> research really primarily focused around animal cancer. And some of that is animal cancer for animal's sake. And then part of it is animal cancer as a translational model to help us answer questions about people as well, kind of thing. We have this one cure mission, don't you? Yeah. And that's, so the one cure component of this is very specifically targeted at supporting our canine and feline clinical trials initiative. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of other things here. Again, we do bench science and we do regular clinical care. But yeah, the clinical trials component of what we do is a very important part of that. And uh, right now, the clinical trials team consists of two certified veterinary technicians, a master's level coordinator, a veterinary intern, a, a faculty member, actually, who's board certified in veterinary oncology, and then actually one of our six medical oncology residents rotates one at a time through the clinical trials service as well on Mm -hmm. four week blocks, eight to 12 weeks a year of their entire residency is spent only taking care of the clinical trials patients, which is a really unique learning opportunity, I think for them duplicated at a lot of other centers. And the one cure mission is really to try to provide funding to support that infrastructure. Even on the human side, these sort of large clinical trials, trial centers are almost never self-sustaining. They just simply can't function without some kind of institutional support. And we've been able to be very successful philanthropically at providing that support. And that's what One Cure is all about. And we are pretty close to having the whole the whole operating expenses for the for the clinical trial service endowed. So in perpetuity, which is really exciting. That's fantastic. What was it that brought you into the team? Oh, so when I started here about 19 years ago, that was already one of my big research interests. So I split my time between clinical research and also running a bench science lab. And one of my hopes or one of my aspirations for my job here was really to try and build up the uh, the clinical research portfolio and capacity of the cancer center here. Mm-hmm. That's been part and parcel of my, my, my job description and my goals since I got here in 2004. And I'm, I've been very pleased to see the way that program has grown. And I'd love to, to be able to take all the credit for it, but it's really been a group, a group effort. 